Hi everyone. This skill is how I got better grades. So when I was a student at Shoreline, my grade point average was 2.8 out of 4. It wasn't very high. I needed to get better grades. I did get into the University of Washington because a long time ago it was easier to go to the University of Washington. What I started to do is to take notes of what I was reading, the most important points, and then I would copy my notes every day, like two more times. My grades went from a 2.8 to a 3.8. Copying my notes over and over really helped me to remember the information. So we're going to practice some of that now. So this page is called Taking Notes of Your Reading. One way to remember what you read, and you do need to learn from your text, from your books for tests and assignments, is to take notes. Namely, you take notes of definitions, facts, steps, main ideas, and supporting ideas. And we're going to go to the next page. So you just take notes of the information you think you need for a test, or for an assignment, or just because you want to be a smarter person. Taking notes of what you read is a great strategy to help you learn and to get good grades. That was my strategy. Next page. So what I do here is I gave you an example. So I took notes on Genghis Khan's life. And so then what I had said is I will use my notes to study for a test. To study for the test, all I have to do is to copy my notes over and over again. Note, 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 note. Copying sentences or words again four or five times will make you learn the information. It's not enough that you just read your book. It's always good to have read your book and then have some notes that you write. Then before the test, you just read your notes. You don't need to read your book again. You need your notes. For example, here are my notes on page 49. So if you want to go there, stop the video and go get your book. Um, also, when you write notes, it's important to remember on page 49 is about Genghis Khan, who was Mongolian, who built a huge empire. Wow, he's still famous today for his fighting skills and his leadership. So, I read that from page 49, and these are the one, two, three, five, or six main things I need to remember. I need to remember that Genghis Khan is still famous today. I want to remember that he was born in 1160 in Mongolia, and when he was 20 years old, only 20, he built an army. Wow. To get all the people in Mongolia under his rule. He was the ruler. Everybody's down here. He was 20 years old. Of course, a long time ago, people used to die when they were 35 or 40. So maybe 20 years old, a long time ago, was almost a little old. I'm not sure. But he was only 20 when he got all of the people in Mongolia under his control. Wow. I want to remember that. So if the test said what was unusual, what is one crazy thing about Genghis Khan, I could say, when he was 20, he formed an army. He, When he was 20, he controlled Mongolia. That's very unusual. My teacher might ask me that. Then I said good things he did and bad things he did, because it's good to remember both when you talk about a person. The good things he did, a new alphabet and money, new laws and regulations. A regulation is like a law and freedom of religion. Good job. So, before my test, I'm going to write down new alphabet and money, new laws, freedom of religion. Alphabet, money, laws, freedom of religion. Alphabet, money, laws, freedom of religion. Then I'll remember it. But the bad things he did, violent military campaign against his enemies. Violent military campaign, violent military campaign, violent military campaign. I also want to remember how big the Mongolian Empire was. It went from the Sea of Japan to Eastern Europe, 
Siberia to Southeast Asia. Very interesting how much land Genghis Khan controlled. Uh, he was only 20 years old. Makes me feel like I was lazy when I was 20. Pretty remarkable. Okay, next page. So what you're going to do is you, so we talked about writing a summary is where you have only a few sentences to describe something. What you can do is you take notes of your reading, blah, you find the most important information, then you write a summary from your notes. Because when you write notes, you're only looking for the important information. So you have to be able to see what's important and what's not important. That's the key for a summary. <sighs> so I probably don't need to know his favorite food or that he had a brother. Not as important. I need to know what he did, right? He, how big his land was, the good thing he did, the bad thing he did. So then here's my summary. Genghis Khan is a well-known leader. He was born in 1160, and when he was 20 years old, he built a large army to unite the people in Mongolia. A few good things he did was to develop a new alphabet, a new form of money, many laws, and allowed freedom of religion. A bad thing he did was to have violent campaigns against his enemies. After his death, the Mongolian Empire was one of the largest in history, going from the Sea of Japan to, in the east to Eastern Europe in the west, comma, from Siberia in the north to Southeast Asia in the south. Okay, so that's my summary. So I did my notes, and then I'm going to have a summary. And that's what I want you to do for this next assignment. Let's take a quick look. Okay, so I know that you maybe haven't done this before, but just for trying, I'm going to give you 75% for trying. What I want you to do is to take notes and write a summary. So. Take notes on the reading of the reading on page 53, but only paragraph E, paragraph F, paragraph G, okay? Just those three paragraphs. Then after you take notes, use the notes and write a summary and then turn everything into me. I really want you to be able to do this because I think the ability to take notes and to write a summary, it was key for me to be able to become a 4.0 student. And I think this strategy will help you to become a 4.0 student. If I can do it, you can do it. Okay, so that's how, what I want you to do for your assignment. Okay, see you later, bye.